M22 is a state trunkline highway in the U.S. state of Michigan. It is 116.7 miles long and follows the Lake Michigan shoreline of the Leelanau Peninsula, making up a portion of the Lake Michigan Circle Tour. It also passes through the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. The highway is U-shaped as it rounds the peninsula running through tourist areas in Leland and Sutton's Bay in addition to the National Lakeshore. M22 is an original trunkline designation dating back to the 1919 designation of the system. Reroutings have moved the highway closer to the water between Sutton's Bay and Traverse City. A section of the highway was used temporarily for another highway, M109. Two sections of the highway have been designated as separate pure Michigan byways. The highway marker is used in marketing by a local business as a symbol of the region, a trademark for which has been the subject of legal controversies. A popular roadway in the area with tourists, the highway's marker has also been the subject of sign theft. Marker at Good Harbor, south of Leland the southern terminus is at U.S. Highway 31 3 miles northeast of Manistee and the northern terminus is in Traverse City. In between the trunk line loops north along Lake Michigan to Northport before turning south along the west arm of Grand Traverse Bay. The road itself comprises numerous turns and hills, making it a very popular drive for tourists visiting the area from areas such as Chicago and Detroit, especially during autumn. The road runs north to the village of Anakama running east and north of Portage Lake before returning north to Arcadia. M22 turns northeasterly to curve around the north shore of Crystal Lake after passing through Alberta and Frankfurt. South of the Platte River, the highway crosses into the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. East of Platte Lake, M22 turns northward again toward Empire, headquarters of the National Park. M22 takes the inland route between Little and Big Glen Lakes, losing the Lake Michigan Circle Tour designation to M109 until the two meet again in Glen Arbor. The roadway follows the shoreline of Pyramid Point and passes east out of the National Park before turning north to Leland. Crossing into Traverse City Leland is home to Fishtown, and the ferries to the Manitou Islands off the coast of the Leelanau Peninsula. Continuing northward, M22 reaches its northernmost extent in Northport before turning south. It passes through the reservation of the Grand Traverse Band of Chippewa and Ottawa Indians in Peshawbistone, home to one of the tribe's two casinos. Further south is the community of Sutton's Bay located on the small bay of the same name. From here south, the highway runs just off the shore of the Grand Traverse Bay south to Grailville. Just south of Grailville, M22 enters a section of the city of Traverse City that is located in Leelanau County, Michigan formed by an acquisition of a neighborhood of Grailville. Here is the eastern junction between M22 and M72. The two highways run concurrently along Grandview Parkway to Division Street. There they meet US 31, M37 and M22 ends. A portion of this road has been designated a what is now called a pure Michigan scenic byway by the state of Michigan. Vernia Kiteboarding, a company based in Traverse City, has adopted the M22 marker as a logo and sells merchandise such as clothing and bumper stickers featuring it. As such, the logo has become a popular symbol for the company as well as a cultural symbol for the western Grand Traverse Bay area. The private corporation has attempted to trademark the road sign, which has been legally opposed by the Michigan Attorney General Bill Scoot. That formal opposition was removed by his successor Dana Nessel in 2019. In 2015, the readers of USA Today voted M22 the best scenic autumn drive in the nation, noting that it offers 116 miles, 187 kilometers, of stellar autumn leaf peeping. Due to the popularity of the roadway, sign theft along parts of M22 has become an issue for MDOT. The department announced in 2016 that it was removing the M from the top of some of the M22 markers to combat the issue. The state had replaced about 90 signs in the previous three years, and a department spokesman said the popularity of the highway for merchandise sales and scenic travelers factored into those thefts. The new signs cost between $325 and $350 a piece to manufacture, no different from what the standard M22 signs cost, and MDOT hoped that the modified signs will prove less popular with thieves. The new signs will be installed as replacements in the areas with the most thefts, like Leelanau County, while the rest of the highway will still receive the standard M22 marker. A year later, sign theft was still an issue. The department started testing pavement markings because the other efforts had failed. The markings cost $175, but they last only three years compared to the 10-year lifespan of a sign. M22 is an original trunk line, dating to the July 1, 1919 designation of the system. In 1929, the highway was rerouted along the west side of Little Glen Lake, 
using the modern M109 around the lake. M22 would be rerouted back around to the present routing the next year, and M109 was designated on the west side of the lake in its place. Until 1936, M22's route was on Cherry Bend and Center Roads in Leelanau County to Suttons Bay. At that time, M22 was relocated along the west arm of Grand Traverse Bay onto Center Road up to Crane Hill Road in 1949, M22 was relocated the rest of the way to Suttons Bay, and the former M22 on Cherry Bend and Center Roads became County Road 633. And in 1945, the last gravel stretch of M22 from Leland to Northport was paved. In Traverse City, M22 originally started at Front and Union Streets going west on Front to Elmwood, turning north onto Elmwood, then west on Bay Street to Grailville. It was relocated onto the newly built Grand View Parkway in 1952, from Grailville to Division Street. In 2002, the route of M22 from the Benzie Leelanau County line northward to Northport, and then south to Traverse City was designated as part of a Michigan. Heritage Route along with M109 and M204 as the Leelanau Scenic Heritage Route, this moniker was renamed Pure Michigan Byway at the end of 2014. The remainder of the highway was designated as a separate byway in October 2016. Template attached KML slash M22 KML is from Wikidata. Thanks for watching.